the channel. So I've had a few messages of people asking me to do like a room tour of my home beauty salon. So today I'm going to show you in this video. Right, let's start with the main table, which is my nail table. So this is from Ikea. So this desk is actually a computer desk. And yeah, I think it was quite cheap actually. I think it was 60 pounds, around 60 pounds for this desk. So although it's a computer desk, I was worried that this side where my clients sit would struggle with their legs, but actually nobody struggles. I know once you sit on the seat, it goes down a bit. And even a couple of clients put the legs to the side. So actually no one ever struggles to get close to the nail desk. It comes with two compartments, actually three compartments. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the sliding drawer. So it's got all my little bits in here. Uh, tissues, files, uh, kitchen foil, and um, things like my nail tools, um, my files for pedicures. So I keep everything in here um, that I need on hand for nails. Top tip, these are Chinese takeaway tubs and I absolutely love them for like sectioning out stuff. It makes it so much easier to access stuff. Um, I think Ikea did have like little trays to put in there, but they were really expensive. So I thought if you want to save yourself a bit of money, no one sees in the drawer and it keeps it nice and tidy. So that's quite a good tip. Uh, the next one, I keep my nail um, polish top coats, like my gel top coats, my gel base coats, and just things like extra stock of like nail bits and bobs. On top of my table, I have a little basket with all my stuff that I need to access really nice and quickly. So I keep this on my nail station all the time. So it's just like my main bits and bobs that I need for everyday nails, stuff that I need to access pretty quick. Um, and it works perfect in that basket. Um, and obviously I can see everything to hand and it keeps it nice and tidy. I have just like a little jar. This jar is just from Ikea. I normally tend to keep the lid off when I'm doing treatments just because it's just easy access to get my cotton pads out. And over here, I have my gel light. I have a CND shellac lamp. Uh, I find this is actually really good. Although, next time I do purchase a new gel machine, I'm definitely gonna go for the one that you can take the bottom out and in, because I just find when I'm doing pedicures, a lot of my clients struggle to get the feet in there. So it's good for now, but definitely when I upgrade, I'll get one that you can actually take the top off. So up here, I just have these shelves. They're from Ikea. I don't actually think they're purposely for um, nail polishers, but I think like they had like books and stuff on them. So they're like really like multifunctional, um, but they work absolutely perfect for like nail varnishes and gel polishers. Um, so I did actually buy four and all my polishers do fit on three. Depends how spaced out you want them, but these were really reasonable. Um, and I like that there was clear because it kind of didn't look too heavy on the walls. And then in this corner, I've just got a little plant, which actually never gets in my way. I think it's really cute. And it just adds a bit of green and a bit of nature to the room. Up here, I have just some little posters and certificates. And um, I was gonna use this wall as my certificate wall and have like loads up there, but I thought it looked a little bit clustered. So I just went for my favorite certificate, which is my HD brows, which just makes it look a little bit more professional, I think. Moving on to the next area. So this is where I do a lot of my treatments. So where I do uh, HD brows, brow sculpt, uh, normal brow shapes, lash lifts, even pedicures in this chair. So this is where a lot of my clients spend a lot of time. It is amazing. 100% worth every bit of money I spent on it. It's called a Chloe chair and it's from Living It Up Salon, I believe. I'll pop the link below. Um, I went for the brown colour. It comes in quite a few shades. Uh, it just looks so nice in like your home salon, in any salon, but particularly because I've got a home salon, I think it works really nice as like a furniture piece. It spins so you can move it wherever you need to move it. It is, if you need to pick it up, it is quite heavy, um, but not too heavy where you would literally have to have someone else to move it. It pumps up so you can put it as high as you want. So when you're working, you're not straining your back and things, and you just press it down for it to go lower, and you can have it 
really low actually and I normally have it really low when I'm doing pedicures when the foot's in like the football and stuff like that. It also has a little lever here and it just allows you to lay it further back so it actually goes really low so that's as low as it goes and it's really secure none of my clients ever feel like they're going to go back and it's also got the adjustable headrest and I normally just put a sheepskin rug on top of my chair um, it's just a bit more comfier and it feels a bit warmer as well when you're having treatments. When you buy this chair, it doesn't come with a footstool. You have to pay for a footstool extra. And I think the footstool that they recommend is just like a, a chrome one, a chrome bar. And I was going to get it, but I wanted something a little bit nicer. So one of my clients kindly gave me this as a present, which is a camel's saddle. And it's really cool, it's got a bit of character and the colours actually go really nicely with the room. So that's what I use as a footstool and I think you really need a footstool when you buy this chair. Um, otherwise it will definitely hurt your clients back if they're not supporting their feet when they're laid back a bit. So 100% if you buy this chair you need some sort of footstool to support the clients back. Moving on to the trolley. So this for every beautician is where they work off. So they want it a nice height, they want it quite big so they can fit a lot of stuff on um, and you can add loads of things to this, like if you wanted more baskets you could add, add baskets. Um, this is perfectly functional for me and I've set mine out that works amazing for me. So I normally just have a single wax part on at all times in case anyone needs lip waxes or eyebrow waxes so that's always um, set up on top of the trolley. Then I have like my cotton pads and my cotton buds, they're in these little things again, same as what I had on my nail table, they're just from Ikea and it actually comes as a set so you can have like the little um, tray as well which works amazing and when you're doing treatment because obviously you can use this to put all your stuff on and then it's really easy to clean and stuff like that. I also have these super cute little bowls and I like to put like um, if I'm doing a lash lift all the little bits and tools that I need for lash lift and if I'm doing like brow sculpt I like to put all that lamination products in there. Down here I have um, my bottles which I use every day so just things like my pre-cleanser um, my oil and my after lotion and little things like eye makeup remover. On here it's just things like tissues that you need daily. In this little box here I keep like my masks and my gloves and aprons. Um, just my HD brow stuff that I use daily as well, uh, my pro pencils, my brow glue, uh, just what I do on clients when I'm doing their finishing touches on their makeup at the end. A little jar which could actually look nicer uh, but it's just where I keep all my sanitised tools so everything in there is nice and clean ready to use at hand. And then in this little jar I just have my large spatulas. Down here I have my double wax heater which I need to use when I do stuff like intimate waxes and full body waxes. Um, so obviously I'll pick this up and I'll put it on top of my um, trolley so I can have that easy accessible. Um, but when I'm not using it I pop it under here and my nice Jeffree Star mirror. This is a present from my best friend. Thank you, Bethany. Oh, I forgot. Up here, I have these little attachments that attach to, I think these would literally attach to any trolley. So even if you haven't got an Ikea trolley, I believe these probably would attach to whatever trolley you do have. Um, but I just keep my wax strips in here. So I just have like, I have different types of wax strips as well. I don't know if anyone else does, but I have wax strips for like HD brows, wax strips for normal um, brow tidies, and then I have wax strips for like lip and chin. Up here above the trolley are these two little shelves which were from Matalan. Again, I think these were really cheap. I want to say under £20. I use the bottom one for my HD bits. So I have like my HD wax heater up here. And then just along with the products that I use to cleanse and wipe, obviously, and um, eyebrows after. Um, so I have like my pristine clean, my squeaky clean, my comfort and my vanish. So they're my HD products that I use daily as well. Up here on the second shelf is where I just have a few bits of HD stock. So I don't supply loads of bits, but just like the important ones, like the brow glues, stuff like tint lock serums, and my brow beater, just bits and bops in case any of my clients want to purchase any of these. I forgot to say, these little cute things came in a pack of three from Ikea and there was £1.50. 
so the cheapest things ever but they look so cute when they're like next to like your little bits and pieces last but not least is where i keep all my products so spares of everything so i got these little baskets from i think they were from dreams i know that's really random but i believe they're like little um baskets what you put under your bed and they fit perfectly in there things i keep in them are just things like wax strips and bits like that yeah just extra stock that you always want to keep to hand i also currently bought from ikea these like they're like little like lint um shelf protectors so just when you're pulling your baskets out all the time it's not going to scratch my units which i thought was a really clever idea and then in the second section i have things that i need to use every single day so my first box is my hd box so i have everything hd related in there so when i do a treatment i can just pull this box out and get what i need and put it on my trolley so it's just all tidy in there my next one is things that I need for lash lifts whenever I'm doing a lash lift. So again, I can even take the whole thing out and have it on my trolley or I just take it out and put what I need to use on my trolley. Next one is just normal tin. So if someone just wants an eyebrow tin or an eyelash tin, that's just my little tools in there for it. My next one is just waxing bits. So if I need to do a leg wax or a bikini wax, um, that's all in there ready to go. And um, these baskets were six pounds each. That was a hair clip. Uh, two seconds, guys. That's it, hair's back in. As you can see, I've grown uh, 22 inches of hair overnight. Um, okay, moving on. These baskets was from Matalan, six pounds each, bargain. And then in here is just where I keep my beauty bed. So I do share this room with Corey and his computer desk. Um, but I actually believe if you furnish it well and you furnish it in keeping with the room, I kind of think you can get away with sharing it. I don't feel like it sticks out like a sore thumb. It kind of blends into the room. So for those at home who haven't got a massive space at home to convert a room into a salon, I do believe you can share them um, and you don't always need like a divider up in the room. As long as it blends and as long as it looks cool, I think you can do it. And that's it for my home beauty salon. I hope you liked this video and I hope it gave you some good ideas to do at maybe your own salon. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it and please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.